I first met this young lady on the courts at Marine Park during her freshman year just after the walkathon. She was there working on basketball and her game as she has done countless days since. As I watched Jenna, it was the first time the word unique jumped into my head while mentally describing her. She was unique in that moment because no other student or player on the court was working as hard as her to just try and get better, even just for those brief moments. I can now say without hesitation that Jenna Carr is incredibly unique for a multitude of reasons, many of which are not on the court. You will always know when Jenna is in the room, she just commands it. Jenna also has a very unique superpower of being able to string an incredible amount of words together in a sentence without ever breathing. It's remarkable. I've been on the receiving end of that many, many times over her four years. But her greatest attribute is her ability to be a unique leader. One that leads by example, one who never gives up, one who always wants to improve individually, but more so for her team. My daughter, Emma, always asks about Jenna. Why? Because in true Jenna form, she left an indelible mark on Emma. It is my sincere hope that one day my daughter can be as unique and special as Jenna Carr. Jenna, come on up. Before I begin my speech, I just wanted to thank Mr. Wagner for nominating me and the rest of the faculty for allowing me to deliver this speech for all of the families here today. As a lot of you may know, I love to talk. I can go on for hours and hours. <laughs> I can go on for hours and hours about the most outrageous things and never run out of anything to say. Shockingly, I have never spoken in front of a crowd of people like this. For, the, for most people, if they were to get picked to deliver a speech in front of hundreds of people, they would most likely be nervous and not know what to say. When I was told that this speech was only supposed to be three to five minutes, I was nervous too. But for the opposite reason. I was worried that I might not get to say everything that I wanted to say. Every time that I'm asked if I'm excited about graduating and going off to college, I always get this bittersweet feeling. I always think about how college is going to be an exhilarating change, but I'm sad to know that I'm leaving my home away from home for the last four years. I will never forget what the school has done for me and taught me during my time here. I am grateful for the many opportunities and activities that I was able to take part in during my years at the prep. One of these things was having the privilege of being a student athlete. Being a student athlete was one of the most rewarding experiences because it taught me things about myself that I would have never found out. Being a four-year varsity athlete on the girls' basketball team has taught me how to be responsible and how to support the people that I love. I have learned how to stand up for myself, be confident in my abilities, and lead my teammates in doing the right thing. When I first joined the girls' basketball team my freshman year, to say that I was petrified would be an understatement. I felt like I was walking on eggshells and that everything I did was being analyzed under a microscope. However, this was not true. Unbeknownst to me, these girls were about to become my best friends, my, my role models, and people to look up to. As a freshman, I looked up to the older girls on the team. We had seniors, juniors, sophomores, and one little freshman, me. These girls taught me everything that I needed to know and prepared me for the role of being a captain. They instilled confidence and courage in me and made sure that I could handle the responsibilities that came with leading a team. We enjoyed each other's company so much and it broke my heart watching them leave because I knew I was on my own. Of course, none of these things would have been possible without the support of two amazing coaches. Coach Randy, or Randall, depends how I'm feeling. Thank you for all of the hilarious memories and memorable practices. Whether it was trying to film a funny TikTok that was trending at the time or driving home and seeing the most outrageous people, I will never forget it, so thank you. Mr. Wagner, you honestly terrified me. <laughs> when I came in my freshman year, I thought that there was going to be a different coach who has been following me for the last five to six years. However, I was shocked to realize that you were going to be my new coach. If I stood here and stated everything that you have done for me, then we would be here all night. However, to sum it up, you have taught me the most important life lessons throughout these last four years. Whether it was a cheesy quote, a lame dad joke, or even you screaming at me until your face turns even more red than it usually is, 
they meant more to me than you'd ever know. I truly cannot thank you enough for making high school athletics one of the best experiences for me. Being a student athlete is the, at the prep is one of the experiences that I will never forget. I will also never forget the smile on my face every single morning when I step into the school building. Mrs. McGinnis, Mrs. McAvoy, Ms. Breen, Mr. Romano, and Mr. Wagner were there every single day greeting us good morning, and it would establish a great start to my day. They are the first people I look for every time I walk into the school building, and on days that they were not there, I felt that something was off. Typically, kids usually are miserable while walking into school on a Monday at 8 a.m. However, I had the most energy. This was because of the amazing faculty and staff that we have here. Even though there were some stressful days, whether it was Ms. Johnson screaming me to get out of her office, or it was waiting for Mr. Romano to call me out of my class with his attention list because I was late and couldn't find a parking spot. However, it always ended on a good note. It was these little moments that were the most memorable. I am beyond grateful for the faculty and staff and what they have done for me these last four years. But I can't forget the most important part of high school, and that is the amazing relationships and friendships that I have formed. It breaks my heart to know that I will not be able to walk into school every day and find the people that made high school one of the best experiences for me. The friendships and relationships that I formed here will last forever. As I previously mentioned, when I was chosen to write the speech, I was beyond thrilled because I knew what I wanted to say. I then became nervous because I was told that we only had three to five minutes to deliver the speech, and I knew that I had to take the 1,000 words that I wanted to say and condense them into a couple. But the one thing I knew that I was not going to forget to write down was thank you. I did not believe my parents and family members when they told me that high school would be the best four years of my life. But I am here to say that it definitely was the best four years of my life. So as I end this speech, I just wanted to thank all the faculty and staff, whether you were here for four years or just one, thank you for making my high school experience one of the best ones. Thank you.